The Denver Metro is notorious when it comes to car thefts, but some spots are worse than others. According to Denver Police, auto thefts at DIA have more than doubled in the past three years. In just the first six months of 2022, more than 100 cars have been stolen from the airport and the surrounding areas. Tonight we're hearing from one of those victims, a Colorado woman who just returned from spreading her grandfather's ashes. As Denver Sun's Patrick Perez tells us, her family is making a desperate plea to get back the sentimental items she left inside. It's something no one wants to go through. You get back from your trip and you find out that your car has been stolen. It's a recurring problem here at Denver's airport, including the Pikes Peak parking lot. And what's most upsetting to some of these victims is how these thieves keep getting away with it. An emotional trip away made worse after returning to Denver. She was in tears, sobbing. Uh, just destroyed. Nick Davis is speaking on behalf of his wife, Shannon, who's too unnerved to go on camera. She recently flew to Iowa to spread her grandfather's ashes. When she landed back at DIA, she quickly realized her drive back home to Craig was not going to be easy. And the car was just, it was missing. Someone stole their silver Dodge Charger from the Pikes Peak parking lot. Nick says Denver police confirmed the person who stole it was seen on camera paying for the $42 parking fee. They found a way to get a key fob and open our door electronically like it was ours like wow. or theirs. While they would like to get their car back, their focus right now is on this silver heart necklace. It contains Shannon's father's ashes. It was in the sunglass holder in the visor. The car, can, it can be replaced, you know, but that necklace holds so much sentimental value. There's nothing you can do to to replace that. What happened to Nick and Shannon isn't rare. Several months ago, we reported on a Littleton man's truck that was also stolen from Pikes Peak while he was midair to Hawaii. Denver police records then showed car thefts at DIA this year were higher than the three year average for that area. It's just makes you wonder if there's like some kind of Ring. ring that's going on, you know. Nick and Shannon are hoping that by spreading the word about what happened and these pictures of their car, the person who did this will do the right thing and return the necklace. But if they could just send it, you know, to, to you guys or the police department, I, I, I don't care. We just would really like that back. Patrick Perez, Denver 7. Wow, Patrick, thank you. Now, a spokesperson with the DIA says they are working with DPD and its contractors to increase patrols at its lots.